Hey everyone, welcome back to this week's Day Fit Sunday and today we are making my twice baked mashed cauliflower. So if you want to see how I do it, just keep on watching. So for this you're going to need one large head of cauliflower, half a cup of light sour cream, two thirds cup of shredded cheese of choice, extra virgin olive oil, a little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of coarse ground pepper, and sea salt. You're gonna want to preheat your oven to 400. And then taking a saucepan, you are going to pretty much just pull apart the cauliflower. No cutting or anything necessary for this, just straight ripping the cauliflower to pieces. That is it. So once you rip the whole thing apart, it's going to look just like this and barely fit in your saucepan, but it's okay, it's gonna work. Then adding three quarter cup of water, we need the water because we're gonna steam the cauliflower, that's all. So put it on your stove on low heat for about mm, between 10 and like 12 minutes. Make sure you have a lid on it nice and tight in order for the cauliflower to steam properly. So once you're done, it should look like this. And by taking a fork, we are going to make sure that when we insert it, it's going to come out clean and pretty much just fall off your fork. That's how you know it's ready. So now we're gonna transfer it onto the counter and we're gonna take a potato masher. This is the one my mama gave me. I don't know where you can get one that looks like this. I don't see them very often, but I love this potato masher. So this is what I'm using. You're just going to mash it in the same exact saucepan. I don't go and transfer it into another bowl or anything. I just don't want any extra dishes, so that's just me. So when we're done, we're just going to add the half a cup of light sour cream. And yes, I'm using a wooden spoon because I am a wooden spoon junkie. So then we're gonna add the sour, the sour cream, I already said that, the cheese. I mean, come on, hello. What is wrong with me? That is the best part of this whole thing. And I just add a little bit to uh, kind of change things up. It's not too much cheese, but you know. So now we're gonna add a pinch of salt. We're gonna add a little bit of black pepper. And I'm also gonna add a little bit of garlic powder just to give it a little, you know, oomph. So now we're gonna mix it all together. And this is Eric's like favorite side dish. He just loves it. So I try to make it for him and, and you know, be a good wifey. And now we're just going to grease or oil, whatever you wanna call it the um, eight by eight Pyrex dish and transfer all of that goodness into it. And you can use uh, a different dish. I can't find my little round one, which was driving me nuts, but whatever. This is a little bit bigger than what I normally use, but hey, it's gonna work. So we're just gonna flatten everything out. We're gonna smooth it all, you know, make it look like mashed potatoes. And this is just such a great alternative because there are no like starchy carbs or anything. It's just veggies. So pretty much you can have more than one serving and be okay. So now we're gonna pop it into the oven and we're going to set the timer for 45 minutes and it's going to come out all nice and toasty looking. Uh, you just want the um, edges to be brown, but you do want the middle to be, you know, not burned. So that's how you know it's done. But this side dish goes so well with chicken, pork chops, fish, uh, steak, everything and anything. So I hope you guys love it and thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys on next week's episode of Stay Fit Sunday. Love you all. Bye.